Hi everyone, this is Natalie with Arizona Rose Creations, and I was just going to show you something that I've been working on in my self-quarantine state that we're all in. Our governor just issued a stay-at-home order, so something else to look forward to. <laughs> anyway, I have these um, Better Homes and Gardens new garden book, and I'm going to make an ephemera folder out of it. Here is one that I have already made. And you can see this is what it looks like inside. And I've just put like all of my die cuts in here. This one I did leave one side blank and put a picture on because I thought the pictures were really pretty. But I need so much room that the next one I'm actually going to put pockets on both sides. And I sewed these all in because the glue doesn't hold. What I'm using, and I've already cut them up is all these page protectors and I cut these into two about two inch strips and I'm going to cut them down again so they're about five and a half inches long I'll just show you here and then you have this and there's one that's already been cut to the right size what I will do then is take this and put it here so I get it the same on each side. Oh, let me make sure I'm in frame here. So I get the same on each side, and you can see I will just then sew, not along the top, but along here, here, and then here, and it will sew it on both sides, so I'll have a pocket on each side. That is my plan for this one. So page protectors, this one's cut three, if you want a bigger one, this is three inches, and that makes a pocket, let me get it. I am not the most organized person here, so. Just bear with me. <laughs> and this makes a pocket this size. This is the three inch piece here. So if you want deeper pockets, that's for that. If I like, I'm gonna do some that are three per page. And these are the two inch ones, and that's what they look like. So I'm gonna do that, and yeah, just take those. I will glue them because they'll slip all over the place if I don't. So I'll take these, put them down, Take my glue and just glue around here. Yeah, glue around here after they're cut to size. And I've had no problem with the sewing machine or the needles or anything else with this glue that I use, so I'm not even worried about it. And that's what I'm going to do to make this, and I will show you what that looks like in the next step when we're done. So I thought I would show you real quick how I sew these up and I don't like to sew more lines than I have to and seeing as I used to be a quilter I just kind of do it in a chain. I like to pick. I don't really, I don't worry too much about being super neat. <laughs> I just try to get it all in there. I'm gonna get that as quickly as possible and get everything covered. And then I gotta do these, so I'll just flip it over here. Oh, I'm gonna be pretty crooked because I'm not used to doing it in camera. And then, of course, my bobbin thread runs out. You know that's gonna happen, right, when I'm doing a video. You just know that I'm not gonna be able to do this without a bobbin thread running out. For crying out loud. Alright, I got a box of pre-wound bobbins here, so just change this up. Sorry guys, just take a second. The whole idea was to not have to cut that. So annoying. Okay. Get that, and of course. 
that's going to be difficult for me. I'm grab a pair of scissors here. Pull it out. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. Let's try that again. I go here. So across here. And then turn it, flip it, and jump it back here. And so across there. And I call it good. Now I've got, yeah, I'm seeing, did the same on the back. They're all sewed on there. So those pockets, they are nice and stable and sturdy. And we are good to go. Oh, I did forget to mention that, like, this will prevent you from just looping it over in some. So I just cut it and look at it, and you can line it up right there. You have to do that for one for about every one. But it's, it's still quicker for me to do it this way than it is to make one from scratch. I got glue all over my fingers. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. I am just getting ready to stamp some labels that I'm going to put on my binders that I made. This one I am doing is flowers. I think I already have it stamped out. Here it is. Flowers. So I'm going to do that one. And then glue it on to here probably. And so I can see them from my... Here, it's kind of a mess, but I'll try to show you. <laughs> so I can see them from in here, which is where I put them on my desk area. I'll just put it in here. And I want to be able to see it easily. But before I do that, the camera angle there. Before I do that, I just wanted to show you how they turned out. This one is the first one that I made. And this is what it looks like. And this is where I keep all my flowers. And then a few other things. <laughs> I, well, mostly, I think this one's just mostly these flowers. The other ones I've ended up putting some different things in but that's this one and I ended up having oh and this one I'll show you before I do this is the first one I made off of a video I believe it was a video watched by Gail and it's it's a great thing it's just that I don't know it seems like it's already coming apart here and I guess I'm too rough on things so I mean it works great it just it feels flimsy and it doesn't feel substantial enough for me and then I have these which is the Valium and it's what you kind of have to use in order to glue them on because the plastic will not stay adhered because it has no traction on it. It has no grip. Um, but these tears, if you put it in too full, and I do, I'm bad. You'll see I load it down pretty heavy. I have a lot of stuff I like to use. Um, but this is, this is that one and I do use it. Here's where it teared and I just put some tape on it. I do use it, but I wanted something, one, that was a bit simpler to make, because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm not really lazy, I just didn't enjoy making it that much, and I didn't really want to have to go through making another one, though I could have. I didn't want to, especially since I felt it was kind of flimsy and it wasn't going to hold up for me. So that's when I had gotten the idea to make these, and I really like these because it's easy with the binder. With the folder pages, I just take out all of the pages in between and keep these these, and then have a nice tab to hold on to. These are really sturdy. And then this plastic is really sturdy, especially when I sew it around. I don't have any problems with anything ripping or coming out. So that makes me happy. And then I'll show you. I have two more that I did. They're over here. And the one that we were working on is this one. And this is where I sewed them on both sides. And this is how this came out. And I like it, but you will notice, so you will notice, it's a bit crocodile though, because I put a lot in here. Um, so that's what happens when you do it on both sides. And I ended up putting um, all my butterflies, which I have a lot. Bees, birds, I also have a lot of birds. And things related to birds bird nest with the eggs. Something I love working with. I just love birds nests and eggs. And have some rabbits. And then, you know, various things. There's some Tracy Fox little tags. Butterflies on them. And things I got various places. And I had a lot of room. 
time. So I was able to put a lot in here. And here's some tickets I got from my porch prints. We got the butterflies and the bees. And that's what all those are. So yeah, it, it worked good. Except that if you don't mind a little crocodile mouth, which really doesn't really bother me. It doesn't. And then this is one I got. This is the original Better Homes and Gardens garden book. And this one has the yellow pages and it has 20 of these. So since it had 20, I didn't think it was nest and it has prettier pictures, I think, than the other one. Since it has 20 of the file folders in it, I didn't think it was necessary to use both sides because that's going to get way too big. So I did one side and then I took an image and I just cut off the edge of them because they have, they're like this. I just cut that edge off of all of them. And I took my trusty glue stick and glued the file folder on the back and then took this and took my brayer and brayed it down. And that's what I did with all of these. And I put all my woodland dyes in here. It's like mushrooms, owls, woodland creatures. A lot of mushrooms. <laughs> Love mushrooms. Bears. A lot of these come from my porch prints too. Those are the fussy cuts. Some came from other places, but a lot of came from my porch prints. Why is that not turning easily? Sometimes I haven't cut threads like I should. That's what that one is. Uh, and then I did, what I did was, I alternated. I did two, two of these pages, which had three slots. And then I would do one that only had two for larger, larger creations in there. And these are the um, roses and tea from my porch prints. This came from another thing. I just stuck it in there because when I'm making something that uses this, I'd probably be interested in looking at that. And I have a lot of tea stuff. My own die cuts and one from my porch prints and then stuff I got from this is like more of a I think this is bow bunny ones came from like an Alice kit. That's where a lot of these are. Kind of like Alice in Wonderland ones. Pretty pages. Isn't those pretty? So that was that one. And I'm going to just, like I said, stamp labels and label them on the spine so I can see what they are. And that worked really well. I actually ended up because I have these, one of these fabulous Jane Davenport binders. I actually love these things. I have two. One holds all my dies, and then I have this one, which holds all my my people. And I love her work. This is beautiful. And what's really great about this is her pages are super thick, and these come with tabs. So I, what I will do, I was just thinking about that today. I'm going to put little Velcro, little Velcro um, coin dots on here to hold these down. Make sure nothing comes out. It's the same up here with these. And I put, and they come in like four. So they're they're really good size, and because they're nice and thick, they're more sturdy, and they don't aren't so flimsy and doing stuff like that. <laughs> you can do stuff like that, but usually it doesn't happen. It has this up here too. A lip. I just overfilled that one. But this is on my people. So I ended up with five binders for all my different stuff. Oh, they're those cute. Those are like little steampunk people. I, I forget. I got to remember where I got those. And these are more mermaids I got from different places. A lot of them from my porch prints. My gnomes. My little flower girl, flower fairy girls. And some princesses. But yeah, so that's the other one I have. And this is great. I got this on an app. I got both of my binders. These guys I got on a after Thanksgiving special. They were $10 each. They are normally $30 a binder. So it can be a little pricey if you get them full, full price. And they do come with these, which you can do this way or this way. And that is all of them. But I really enjoyed how these... These came out, these ones here came out. And I think they're very pretty binders and they work great for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh, see you later. Everyone stay safe and healthy.